Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Prussia campaign in Europa Universalis 4. So it looks like we have 40 war score from battles already. We have our ticking war score and we're solidly above 80, but not by a huge margin. 89% can very quickly swing down to like 70%. So for the moment, we're getting a ticking war score. Um, the idea of actually getting like a 100 war score, I think, is un unlikely. As much as I'd like to be able to go siege Great Britain in this war, um, I'm thinking that we should probably try to wrap this one up pretty quick. Not that we're going to lose, it's just that there's only so much that we can gain. And we're not going to 100% siege the coalition. So, I think what we need to do is start sieging Bamberg, which is one of the provinces that I want, and then siege Nuremberg. Even though it's 12 base tax and it's going to cost a huge amount of points, I think in the interest of trying to just form Germany... We just need Lundberg, Anhalt, and Nuremberg. So Anhalt and Nuremberg. We need Bamberg to allow us to fabricate a claim on Nuremberg if we don't take it in this war. Also, we need it just to allow us to build a core in Nuremberg. But if we just took 12 and 3, it's only 15 base stacks, no claims. So we'd have to pay 60 and 242. Sixteen two hundred forty-two, so three hundred administrative points to get that land. Doesn't really seem like a very good deal. And then Lundberg, we just we get when we integrate Burgundy. But hey, that's what allows us to form Germany. So I guess that's what we do. All right, so you're going to take care of the Spanish army. You are wandering around doing nothing, so that basically means that this is your job. Let's go. And then these sieges don't even matter. I don't really know why I'm doing that. I also don't know why I'm doing this. It's just, you know, something. I don't know why we're doing this either. It's just something to do. Something for all these armies. Also, same reason we're sieging down Sweden. Just because we can. Now, I did want to siege down Spain and try to break their colonies free, but I'll settle for forming Germany. I might keep playing after that. I don't know. I'm, I'm having fun with it again, so... As the discipline level continues to rise, it, it continues to get more and more fun. Who's this now? Poland? Poland, die. Poland cannot into space. Surprisingly, they're doing pretty good. They've got they've got some discipline too. They're still dead. But they do have discipline. They have two maneuver to our two maneuver. We could probably afford to take a river crossing penalty though. We cannot intercept them. Let's chase them down anyway. Oh, our navy engaged the Spanish fleet. No leader, equal morale. They have some light ships, mostly transports though. We'll lose a couple boats, but we'll kill far more than we lose. There seems to be some sort of a war happening. Alright, battle's still at 90%, that's good. In order to get this thing down, we need 15 artillery, we have 18, so if we split off, then... We're gonna kinda... What's the war score cost? 23, but then multiplied by 2. Because I did not name them as a co-belligerent. Crap. I think we're gonna have to do it over the course of two wars. Just doesn't make any sense. We'll, we'll take this one, then we'll fabricate a claim. It's so much base tax. I don't want to pay full price for that. Besides, it's not a co-belligerent, and I don't want to... need too much war score to make it happen. Hey, Spain, where in the hell are you going? Ugh, this winter. It's bad time to be wandering around through their territory.
Same thing there. I wonder how many ships we've lost so far. I know we're losing some, we have to be. Oh, look at that, we actually had to take out a loan. Reinforcement is expensive. You failed to achieve money. I agree. We'll totally fabricate a claim on that. Only lost three ships. Sweet. Spain, you are a loser. Just so you know. So we have 44 war score, but we really need this thing. Our siege speed is quite slow because they have true defender of the faith, defensive mentality, and local fortifications. How obnoxious. This might be one that makes sense to assault. Because it's almost like the only province I really want. Let's see, what's sieged so far? We've got this one. Trakai. If I gave land to Burgundy right now, that'd be silly, right? But we could give these to, to Novgorod. If I were to do anything with them, I'd give them to Novgorod. So let's just transfer the occupation. So like, if I took those things, right now you wouldn't say yes. Because they have high enthusiasm. Wurzburg holds Wurzburg. Well, we can fix that. Okay, do we want to just assault too? I think we do. I think we, uh, maybe march you guys over this way. I'd rather not march through Bavaria or Burgundy or whatever they're called. Bohemia. Their damn attrition. It's annoying. Novgorod doing a good job. That's just 30 stack of Novgorod troops. I like when our vassals are large enough that they can actually, like, build a death stack all by themselves. All this defensiveness is just going to take forever. Maybe not. Already at 0% chance. We're suffering 3% damn attrition right now. That's unfortunate. Get you out of there. They're going to go after Novgorod's army. I think. So your job is to take Wurzburg now. You have two siege value, you have none. We are still close to the force limit. Our heavies are finally starting to get finished over the next month. And then we'll probably consider going after some of the English navy. Um, do we still have a truce with France? Can we embargo them yet? ends in a few months. I'm still considering assault. Oops. Where are you going, Spain? That's what I really want to know. I want to fight that army. Come back. Come back. Okay, so he'll be here in a week. And then we'll see where he's going. 
going into Radabor. He's going after Novgar. Okay, good. We'll get a ticker reinforcement, since these guys are kind of weak. And then we'll reinforce into there. Meanwhile, we, uh, we have 10 to 1. We could assault, but I'm not going to. Like, I gotta try to decide. Like, 3% of 44,000. 1% would be 440. So we're losing 1,000 men a month. Would we lose... With each tick taking 47 days, let's say it takes, I don't know, what, probably six ticks, maybe, until we get it. So six times 45 is uh, 90, 270. That's like nine months. So we lose like 9,000 men due to attrition. Or we could assault. Will we lose 9,000 men to assault? Probably not. Maybe assault is better, aside from the damn military point cost. I feel like we would need more infantry for that, though. 20 to 1. Would feel better. Hmm. Alright, here he comes. Stand fast, Novgorod. Fear not. We'll be here soon. Can you hold out for just 10 days? I'm sure you can. Sixty-nine. Somebody tell Northern Line. Yes, we're still doing that. Sorry, Spain. Now, Spain doesn't really have anywhere to retreat to, so I think we can stack wipe them. That's one of the main reasons I was chasing it, is because I, I know that they're too far away to retreat, so it's like... Just, you know, prime for the taking. Stop in Szepis. Now die. Good. Excellent. Okay, are you at low enthusiasm yet? You're still at high. Okay, occupied and besieged provinces, they don't like that. Losing their capital will help. And their military strength will disappear as soon as they're fully occupied. We have won the siege of that place. Cool. Guess we take another. Relative strength of the alliance is uh it's funny. Like they have they have high enthusiasm because of relative strength of the alliance. But it doesn't matter. Look at this. All these damn troops are over in the new world. Most of them. There should be a modifier on there that like Okay, like when it says relative strength of the alliance, sure, but like Consider the fact that if an army is on another continent, that it should be counted like half, I think. Just as a distant army penalty. It would help the AI to not be so stupid. And declare wars that they can't actually win. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Muscovy will be forced to do stuff, okay? I'm not interested in Muscovy. I mean, I am. Not much. They have some rebellion. It is what it is. Losing a massive 42 ducats a month. Get a reinforcement. And advisors. Very expensive. Fleet maintenance. Very expensive. What you doing there, Bohemia? Now this is almost too tempting to pass up. If you could just win this siege, please. So that I can go after that army. Right there. I would be so happy. But if I don't move right now, we can't catch it. Let's detach and chase it down. Ninth. Yeah. It's 18 regiments. We gotta kill them. Oh, beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's already been 226 days of siege. 
I think we end this war pretty quick. I like how Spain's just sitting here suffering attrition. 5% attrition. Forced marching around in the mountains. Spain's not very smart. See, this war is just very expensive for us because we can't protect our fleet. Uh, we can't tr protect trade as well. And we also can't... Um... Oh, crap. We're engaging... Engaging them. We do have more overall stuff, but their leader's better. I would love to fight them if we had the rest of these ships involved. I think we bow out of this fight. I don't care if it counts as a lost battle. They lost eight ships, we lost six. We need those heavies involved. Alright, so we got the capital. That ought to change their opinion of things. Now you have siege value and you do not. So I want to swap you two. Siege that up a little bit quicker. And you... Don't really matter. I guess you can head up north. Okay. Um, so I don't actually want that land, the one that we just sieged. It was pretty much just to get them willing to be... to surrender. But I need Bamberg. That is the one that I need. And I also need Unhalt. Don't I? We're at war with them right now. I need that province. Um, this is actually high priority. Higher than... going up there to fight that army. Because we're not getting any more war score from it. I'm really just killing armies for the sake of killing armies. Something something Finnmark. Alright, so we got Bamberg. Cool. I guess, uh... I guess we have you go work on, on Holt now. And we'll swap, swap again. I'm assuming you can handle that supply route. Yeah, good. Let's get you guys combined and get you guys protecting trade again. And these sieges are kind of senseless. Because we get so little war score for these occupations, like 0.3. Just a lot of attrition for nothing. We've won enough battles, we're getting our ticking war score. If you would just go down to low, or even just medium maybe. I want Bamberg. Okay. And then the only other thing I need is on halt. Which is only 10 war score, so as soon as we get this. Supply limit here is 55. Alright, we're going to do something I don't normally do. We're going to detach the infantry, detach the cavalry, detach the artillery. Just put the infantry here, and we're just going to assault with pure infantry. 50,000 infantry. Let's see how they do. Oh my gosh. So 50,000 infantry, and now we have 34. We lost 16,000 men. Do you think we would have lost 16,000 men over the course of a siege? I think... Unless... It depends on the size of the siege. Like, if we left, like, 4,000 men, probably guaranteed no. But at this phase of the war, could we really afford to leave 4,000 men unguarded? Probably not. And also, do I really want to wait, like, three years for the siege? No. So, I guess it's worth it. So, I want that as well. So, that would be... Two provinces directly to us. Um, and then two provinces to Novgorod. So now we just wait till January, and it should tick up. Probably. Here we go. We accept your surrender. 
Let's do it. Okay. Now, we can just combine, split, and split. And that should balance them out again, so they've each got artillery, cannons, and all that nonsense. Yeah. Nice and beautiful. Okay, and we'll park one of you guys here. And one of you guys can stay in on halt. We don't have claims. Only 18 months to core, though. Fairly sizable rebellion over here. If we march through and we fight in every province, then we won't suffer attrition for being over the supply limit. These guys can retreat to, I guess, Stockholm. And uh, you guys can retreat back up to Holland. 70% of the way towards integration. Our navy is fine. We uh, need to get back to sending out privateers. So let's grab the light ships. Here, let's do it this way. Um, okay, it was like two ships privateering in Sevilla. It was like four ships privateering in Bordeaux. And it was like 20 ships privateering over in, I think Novgorod was it. I guess this is back up to 45. Tech trade in Lubick. Almost enough. Need a couple more ships on France. And now that we have no truce with France, I think it's time to embargo them. And we can attack war, se attack France separately. Now we just declare on, on France, and that'll get us back above 50. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a break here, but um, I think that that was a fairly productive war. That got us close to the two provinces we need. We'll start fabricating a claim on Nuremberg now, so that we can form Germany. And other than that, we just continue to integrate Burgundy. And we're doing pretty good. So, cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.